and welcome to the Girls Inc. Film Festival. I'm Amber Ruffin. I was honored to participate in the Girls Take the Lead virtual celebration back in December, and I'm doubly honored to have been asked back to host tonight's event. Now, so much has changed since last December. Just the other day, I hugged another human being. That's right, this lady right here met a friend for lunch I th at, a, I think it's called a restaurant, it was magical, right up to the point where I realized I had forgotten to wear pants. We are here tonight to celebrate some of the remarkable young women who are part of the Girls Inc. movement. Girls are the leaders our future needs. However, gender, racial, economic, and social barriers affect their ability to reach their full potential. And that is why Girls Inc. provides long-term mentoring, relationships, safe spaces, and evidence-based programming that addresses every aspect of their development. We believe in the power and potential of every girl. Girls Inc. is more relevant than ever. I mean, people, we have a woman of color in the White House, the one in Washington, and it has solved everything. COVID is almost over, the economy is coming back, and we've completely reversed climate change. Oh, no? Oh, I'm being told that that is a lie. I guess we need to get her the top job for that to happen. Now, I happen to work in Hollywood. Actually, I work on the complete other side of the country, but it's just like Hollywood, except we have no earthquakes or Scientologists. And what I can tell you is, Hollywood is very interested in telling stories about strong, smart, and bold characters, as long as they're men. Okay, it's getting better. And there have certainly been some iconic female characters in film, from Norma Ray to Jackie Brown and Ellen Ripley to Erin Brockovich. We've got some epic female film icons. But tonight, we will meet some rising stars from the Girls Inc. ranks. And while they aren't leading class action lawsuits or fighting alien invaders yet, I can assure you that they are well on their way. We partnered with our friend, the incredible Marseille Martin, to put this film festival together and the lineup of stars, it is, it's incredible. Oscar winner Jennifer Hudson is here, prima ballerina Misty Copeland is here, and Dr. Anthony Fauci is here, which is great because I have this spot on my arm that I'm wondering if he can look at. I hope he takes my insurance. First up is Tracy Ellis Ross. She will be presenting the Girls' Bill of Rights, which serves as the foundation for all of Girls Inc.'s advocacy efforts. These rights shape our responses to the difficult social issues facing girls and serve as a powerful platform and a reminder to girls that they matter. They're sort of the girls in cliff notes to awesomeness. Take it away, Tracy. Hi, I'm Tracy Ellis Ross here in my blue room. This is the Girls Inc. Bill of Rights. Girls have the right to be themselves and to resist gender stereotypes. Girls have the right to express themselves with originality and enthusiasm. Girls have the right to take risks, to strive freely and to take pride in success. Girls have the right to accept and appreciate their bodies Girls have the right to have confidence in themselves and be safe in the world. Girls have the right to prepare for interesting work and economic independence. Thank you so much for having me. Yay, girls! I'm Tracy Ellis Ross. Mwah!
I would just like to add that we have the right to wear scrunchies if we want to. I know a lot of people think they're out of style, but I am and forever will be Team Scrunch. A quick reminder that tonight is a fundraiser. And of course, to those of you who contributed to be with us tonight, we can't thank you enough for your donation. And to prove that, watch us thank you even more as you make an additional contribution. Just click the donate button on your screen or visit girlsinc.org. It's that simple. And now please welcome the president and CEO of Girls Inc., Dr. Stephanie J. Hull. Hello, I'm Stephanie Hull, President and CEO of Girls Inc. It's great to have you with us. I'd like to start by giving thanks to our top sponsors this evening, the Schultz Family Foundation, Netflix, Colgate, Deloitte, Disney, and our streaming partner, DreamStage. What I love about this event is that it's an opportunity for you to hear directly from our girls. They're gonna share their stories and you'll get a chance to hear directly from them what life has been like for them. Everyone has faced challenges. Everyone has lost something. We've all lost time, we've lost experiences. Many of us have also lost people that we cared about. But these girls are determined not to be defined by the hard things they faced. They are determined to tell their own story. Girls Inc. girls are strong, smart, and bold. They determine their future and they're determining it with resiliency, leadership, and creativity. We're so fortunate tonight to have some amazing women working with these girls, directing the films that help them tell their stories. It's such a special opportunity, and at the same time, amazing women helping girls find their voices and their strengths is exactly what we do. Girls are innately powerful. What Girls Inc. does is help them really find their strengths and use that power. The mentors and staff who work with these girls are often from the same communities that the girls are from. They've had to be especially committed this year to hold their own families and lives together and also make sure that these girls succeeded. Every girl has a story to tell about who she is, the world she sees, and the change that she's working toward. It's up to us to help each girl be the star of her own story. The young women featured in tonight's films represent the heart of Girls Inc. And when you listen to their stories, I hope you'll hear that common thread the power that every girl possesses to take the lead. We like to talk about our evidence-based programming and our proven impact, but the girls will tell you that it's the sisterhood of support that they find at Girls Inc. that really makes the difference for them. We need your help to make sure that that opportunity is available to them. Please support Girls Inc. so that each girl can be inspired to be strong, smart, and bold. Tonight, we're proud to partner with someone who embodies everything that Girls Inc. stands for. She's the youngest Hollywood executive producer ever, and she's our executive producer this evening. Please welcome Marseille Martin. Thank you so much, Stephanie. Much love to you. Hello, everyone. I am Marseille Martin, and last year I had the opportunity to participate in Girls Inc. Girls Take the Lead virtual event. And since then, I have learned so much about this amazing organization, and I am just blown away at the work they do with and for girls in communities across the country. And I am a proud supporter and champion of Girls Inc. When I was approached about serving as executive producer for their first ever virtual event, I did not hesitate to say yes. Stories are powerful. They inspire us, connect us, and have the potential to create positive change. And as a producer in Hollywood, the youngest ever, my mission is to tell great stories about people, people who look like me and who don't usually have their stories told. And what better way to do this than with my favorite organization, Girls Inc. I take a lot of inspiration from those who came before me, and I am so inspired by the girls here tonight, and some of whom are even younger than me. So tonight we lift up the voices of girls and celebrate the power girls have to lead change in their own lives and out in the world. Girls Inc. is building a new generation of leaders, and with your support, they will be able to help many more girls grow up strong, smart, and bold. And now I have the pleasure of introducing the first director of the night, an accomplished actress who is currently starring in Run the World on Stars. Please welcome Amber Stevens West. One of the things I love most about Girls Inc. is they meet girls where they are. If a young woman is interested in science, art, activism, whatever, there is a Girls Inc. program that will support them and that will give them the skills that they need to turn that passion into a true purpose. 
My film is about a fascinating young woman whose diverse interests and skills are going to lead her to greatness. Anjali is a rising junior at Strathaven High School and a member of the Girls Inc. Teen Advocacy Council. Anjali is on her school's mock trial team, is a member of her school's Gender and Sexuality Alliance, is co-leader of her school's Young Activists Coalition, co-founded their chapter of the Council of Students Advocating for Transparency, Inclusion, Diversity, and Equity, is coordinator of her school's climate change activism, and leads her school's Women in Cybersecurity chapter. And just to round things out, she also plays piano, paints, and writes poetry. <laughs> when I grow up, I kind of want to be like Anjali. Watch this. What would I do with my life in a perfect world? Music, for sure. Music, art, it would just be just music and art. That's it. When I told my parents that I wanted to play, we went and, then, and I got a teacher and I played there, but then they got me a keyboard, so I got to play at home. There's so many thoughts running through my head in a day. When I talk and when I play piano, it's the only times that I don't think. I'm from Philly, I'm from Southwest. Um, I've moved out to Sharon Hill. I still went to school in Philly, but my school was having issues. My area was having issues, so then we moved even further out to where I am now. When I first moved out here, I was like one of five black kids. We've got microaggressions every day. Just like the stuff in education, like they'll teach a histor historical event from a very whitewashed perspective, and then I have to correct them, like, no, that didn't happen, this happened. It's just a lot of like extra work, extra labor. I found out about Girls Inc. when I was still going to school in Philly. Um, I was in like fifth grade and I picked up this flyer for a convention, the Society of Women Engineers convention. At the time I was really into like engineering, coding, STEM and stuff like that and they had a lot of STEM programs. When I went to the convention, there was like a Girls Inc. stand there and I was just drawn to it. The colors, the people, the slogans, strong, smart and bold. I've always kind of been an outgoing kid, but Girls Inc. kind of made me, okay, focus on what you want to say and deliver it like this. We do a lot of like workshops with that. We do a lot of leadership building, um, and it kind of makes you be more assertive with what you want. I know a lot of people that were shy going into it and then came out not shy. I actually look forward to going. I actually enjoy it. It doesn't feel like I'm going to school or some after school club. I actually enjoy it, so look forward to it. They will put you on with ever, whatever. If you stick with it and you make good connections with your mentors and people, because they genuinely care about you and want to see you succeed. If you tell them, I want to do this, they will find any way for you to do this. They pour so much into each and every girl that it's just worth it. Good evening. I am pleased to present the 2021 Girls Incorporated Inspiration Award to Dr. Kazmikia Corbett for her unparalleled contributions to science, to public health, and to the well-being of so many millions of people around the world. I first met Dr. Corbett in 2014 when she joined the Vaccine Research Center at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases here at NIH. Since that time, she has built an expertise studying dengue viruses, respiratory syncytial virus, influenza virus, and most recently coronaviruses. It was her groundbreaking research that led to the development of the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine in 2020. Currently, Dr. Corbett is an assistant professor in the Department of Immunology and Infectious Diseases at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Along with her research, Dr. Corbett is an advocate of vaccine awareness in communities of color and a champion of STEM education. Our country's ability to tackle the greatest health challenges of tomorrow relies on us attracting and recruiting the best and the brightest young minds. That means encouraging the full participation of girls and young women 
which is what organization like Girls Incorporated do. STEM learning, mentorship, and internships are all key to exposing a new generation to careers in science. I hope that girls and all young people are inspired by Dr. Corbett to pursue their goals and believe they too can make valuable contributions to the world. Congratulations, Dr. Corbett. Hi everyone, and thank you so much to Girls Inc. for presenting to me the 2021 Inspiration Award. It goes without saying that part of the reason why I am a scientist today and the reason why I'm before you as an inventor and developer of a COVID-19 vaccine is because someone inspired me when I was a young girl. I started doing science when I was 16 years old from a neighborhood and a community where I wasn't ever supposed to be exposed to science at all. But it took one program and one mentor to completely change my life and to inspire me to do science in the way that I'm doing it today. So I come to you humbly and honored to be the recipient of this inspiration award and to inspire you and to remind you that no matter who you are and no matter from where you come, that you have the ability to change and shift this world in your own very special way. Today, there is a complete shift in the atmosphere. There are women that are changing the world in their specific spheres, me as a vaccine developer, and then you have women who are changing the world in politics, the arts, the humanities, or whatever. And the reason is because we have started to dive into our purpose and the world is starting to realize the power of girls and the power of women. And so as you leave, this evening, I ask that you really decide for yourself what it is that you want to do and who it is that you want to be to this world. And no matter what it is that you feel that your calling is, that you step into that at this moment, noting that there is never an age of which you can start to ignite change, noting that you are never too young to start to use your voice, and re remembering that we all need you to be exactly who you are destined to be. Thank you. Hi, I'm Venus Williams, and I am so very proud to be a part of this year's virtual Girls Inc. Take the Lead event in support of Girls Inc. Girls Inc. is really building a brighter future for young women across the nation. And Girls Inc. also inspires girls to be strong, to be smart, to be bold through direct service and for advocacy. I had the privilege of hosting a panel in March that Girls Inc. CEO Stephanie Hull joined, where together we discussed the gender pay gap, our own personal experiences with pay inequality, and we shared opportunities for progress across the education and corporate system so that we could raise girls who don't really need to talk about this in the future. Give to girls, support girls, and all your donations will go toward the next generation of female leaders in America today. So please donate today. This is a most wonderful and beautiful cause. And I look forward to being a part of Girls Inc.'s future from here on out and all the efforts that we do myself and also at 11 by Venus. Melinda Hugh Taylor is one of the top writers and producers working in television. She's best known for her work as executive producer on the hit CW series, Nancy Drew, and her award-nominated work on the iconic ABC series, Lost. She is a graduate of Harvard and Columbia. Okay, Melinda, we get it, you win. To introduce our next film and featured young woman, please welcome Melinda Hugh Taylor. I'm a huge fan of Girls Inc. because it teaches young women to be strong, independent, visionary advocates for themselves and others. Young women like Jane, who's been serving as a digital ambassador for Girls Inc. of Orange County, California. There, she's taught programming and entrepreneurship to other young women. And this fall, she'll attend UCLA to study data theory so that she can use data to design strategies for educational equality, which is one of Jane's great passions. Data itself is another one of her passions. For Jane, data is a point of view that reveals insights to create a narrative, which is also a way to describe her third passion, 
lucid dreaming. That's the kind of dream where you actively control the dreamscape while you're asleep. Jane is really good at lucid dreaming, has been since she was a little kid. She's currently using data to design an app that will help people track and interpret their own lucid dreams. Didn't see this part coming, right? P.S. Jane has also won national awards for her essays and poetry. Here's an excerpt from her poem, Life Alight. All I need is to walk on the air. The light of heaven flies above when open wide, conscious in the dream. Seeing the light, I see you. It was Jane's poem and her fascination with data and how dreams and data have more in common than you might think that inspired this film. Meet Jane. I live in Irvine, California, which has a large Latino and Asian population. In the United States, at least, there is inequitable access to education. There is still a huge gap between identities and demographics of people. And most often, these are women of color and women from marginalized communities. And I wanted to be the one who can help make it a little bit better and have more access to these resources for these young women. There was this Girls Inc. program called the Generation 3 Giga Girls. This program was designed to help bridge the pipeline between education and how you can be an advocate using this data. Data itself is like a tool that you can use to show that there's a problem and provide solutions to the problem. Data isn't particles. Data is like water drops. Water drops collect together. As Desmond Tutu said, the sea is actually made up of drops of water, and each drop counts. With enough drops, with enough data, you can do anything. Using data, I'm creating an app to interpret lucid dreaming. It's like a dream journal. My app will help you understand your dreams. I've been able to lucid dream since I was a little kid. I get these really vivid dreams, and I've always wanted to know what they mean. That's why I created the app. I wanted to come up with an AI interface to guide me while I explore my subconscious. It's kind of like when I write poetry about lucid dreaming. The poem puts the feelings of my dream into words. The app is another way to capture the feelings from a dream. It takes the data from your dream, the emotions and the images, and it gives the data color. Then you can investigate the dream data and make it part of your waking reality. Because now you have a way to understand what your subconscious has been telling you. And then you know yourself better. It's like finding where your true north is. Girls Inc. gave me the tools to find my own true north and see the path ahead more clearly. I'm so grateful that they're part of my journey. Hello, my name is Jennifer Hudson. I am so delighted to introduce our next honoree, Sherry. I call her Mrs. Starbucks. Sherry is the co-founder and chair of the Schultz Family Foundation. She is a wife, a mother, a dear friend, mentor, and so much more. What stands out to me about Sherry is her passion and commitment to making a difference in the lives of young people. Through the Family Foundation, Sherry is bringing together leaders from the private, public, and nonprofit sectors to put youth on the path towards skills, training, and employment. A compassionate innovator and inspired entrepreneur at heart, Sherry refuses to accept the status quo. She is an advocate for the young people, and tonight we recognize her for bettering the lives of so many people across the country. Congratulations, Sherry. Jennifer Hudson, unbelievable. Thank you so much for that beautiful, heartfelt introduction of all the people in the world to introduce me. What a gift to be from you. Someone who has worked so hard to become who you are and has had so much success as a result, you continue to thrive. 
and become a leader and an unbelievably talented artist. I'm incredibly proud to receive this award from you. Thank you so much. It's a privilege to be sharing this platform tonight with such inspiring honorees. Bella Bajaria, Roz Brewer, Misty Copeland, and Dr. Kizmekia Corbett. I have long believed that girls need access to role models who embody leadership and achievement. You are all those role models. You're amazing women and each and every one of you is an agent of meaningful change at such a critical and important time in our country's history. I grew up in a small town in the Midwest, Lima, Ohio. I was lucky enough to have a hero and a mentor that was my father. As I look back now, of course, I could never have realized I'd be given the opportunities I have or what I've been able to achieve. But in reflection, I owe so much to what I've learned from my dad. His work ethic and values shaped how I would see the world. His guidance and belief in me gave me self-esteem and confidence to begin believing in myself. But let's be honest, the playing field is not level. That's why Girls Inc. is essential to empower young girls to realize their full potential and reach their dreams. The events over the past few years, the murder of George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and so many others brought into our living rooms the reality we needed to face. The fact that we are all talking about it and working to disrupt what is truly unconscionable is critical and important. As a mother of two children, I continue to learn as much from them as they have from me. My daughter Addison has been one of my teachers. As a social worker, she made her life's decision to devote her work to helping others. One day when she was in graduate school, I found myself asking her some of the same questions my father asked me. What are you learning in school? And more important, Addison, what are you learning about yourself? Her answer has stayed with me to this day. She said, I am learning the difference between sympathy and empathy. She taught me that sympathy is about having compassion or feeling sorry about someone else's suffering, but not knowing what it's like to actually walk in their shoes. Empathy, on the other hand, is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another person. Addison's insight has allowed me to understand how profound human connection is to empower young women to transition from surviving to thriving, as Stephanie Hall has often said. Our family foundation like Girls Inc. is working to carve a path and to remove obstacles to help young people become our strong leaders of tomorrow. Girls face barriers simply due to their gender. The impact of mentoring and helping them navigate these economic and social inequities is enormous for their independence. Our next generation of leaders must include more women. Our future demands it. My message to all of you young girls in the audience tonight is that we are here for you. We recognize your strengths. We see you. We believe in your ability to write your own story. The reason why I'm so proud to be associated with Girls Inc. is because it's an organization that drives transformation. It causes us to examine how we think, what we think, and most importantly, what role can all of us play to define a better future for all young girls? I accept this wonderful award with humility. Thank you so much. Come gather around people wherever you roam. And admit that the waters around you have grown And accept it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone If your time to you is worth saving Then you better start swimming Or you'll sink like a stone For the times they are a change
writers and critics you prophesize with your pen and keep your eyes wide the chance won't come again but don't speak too soon for the wheel's still in spin and there's no telling who it is naming for the losing now will be later to win for Good evening, guys. I'm Hoda Kotb, and I am thrilled to be here tonight. It's my second time taking part in Girls, Inc., and I am so proud, so proud to introduce our next honoree, Misty Copeland. She is a history maker who not only changed the face of her industry, but has worked fearlessly to be a force for good in our world. She is the first African-American woman to ever be named principal dancer at American Ballet Theater, the highest honor a ballet dancer can receive. As one of the most recognizable ballet dancers in the world, Misty is inspiring a new generation of dancers and greater diversity in ballet companies. President Obama named Misty to his Council on Fitness, Sports and Nutrition. Time named her one of the most influential people in the world. ESPN named her one of the greatest influencers in women's sports and She's performed with Prince. How's that for a resume? Throughout her life, Misty Copeland has pushed through every obstacle in her path. She is an icon and a trailblazer. She is an inspiration to young women around the world and some older ones too. And she's the embodiment of the Girls Inc. spirit to be strong, to be smart, and to be bold. Tonight, we honor her. Please welcome Misty Copeland. Hi, everyone. Hello, beautiful girls. I first just want to um, thank you, Stephanie Hole, for your tremendous leadership, um, you know, on such, such important um, work that you're doing and for such an incredible organization. Um, 
I am just so humbled to be recognized by this organization um, at your incredible gala. You know, I, I know the the importance of having leaders, having mentors, having the arts accessible and available to young women, especially. I wouldn't be in this position and, and have this incredible career in life that I have if it weren't for an organization that I came from in my community, um, the Boys and Girls Club, that really helped to shape and nurture um, and give me the opportunities that I have, but truly to build me into the person that I am. And again, to set an example of what it is to, to be a leader. Congratulations to all of you, incredible young women at Girls Inc. Um, all of the work that you've done and are doing um, and, and just for including me in this incredible gala celebration. Um, you know, it's it's really awesome, this, this virtual film festival that you guys are doing. And of course, um, to be able to work with incredible people like executive producer Marseille Martin, um, who, you know, is, is executive producer of one of my favorite shows, Blackish. But, uh, you know, it's, it's really just such an honor. And I wish all of you girls just the most success and... Um, and I know that what you guys will create will be an incredibly bright future. So thank you again for honoring me. A quick reminder that now would be a great time to make a donation to Girls Inc. Actually, any time is a great time to make a donation to Girls Inc. Just click the donate button on your screen or visit girlsinc.org. Born and raised in the Bronx, our next director, Darnell Martin, is a critically acclaimed director known for her films, I Like It Like That, and Cadillac Records, the latter of which starred someone named Beyonce Knowles. I wonder what ever happened to her. Darnell also has an incredible resume directing television shows like Grey's Anatomy, The Walking Dead, and Madam Secretary. We are honored she is here with us tonight. Please welcome Darnell Martin. We all matter. Every one of us is capable of making a contribution, capable of making a difference, capable of achieving our highest visions of ourselves. This is a universal truth that Girls Inc. embodies and that I believe deeply. Unfortunately for some, socioeconomic pressures can make it hard for that message to get through. That's why Girls Inc. programming is so important. My film was about a young woman whose life circumstances might have deprived the world of knowing her beautiful, bright light. Melanie is a graduating senior who began attending Girls Inc. in 2018. She is passionate about student well being, having served the Bronx and the Chancellor's Student Activity Councils, helping policymakers address issues of concerns for students. She has been actively involved in the Mental Health Committee and has facilitated multiple workshops at schools throughout the Bronx. She personally knows the emotional toll that low-income students face as they and their families juggle schools, jobs, extracurricular activities, and, well, life. Thanks to Girls, Inc., Melanie's future is bright. She's excited to attend Boston College in the fall where she can major in international relations and minor in journalism, pursuing a career in humanitarian aid. Please meet this incredible young woman. My name is Melanie and I'm 18 years old. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I attend high school for teaching in the professions. My dad got deported when I was three turning four and my mom at the time, she did not have her paper so she was not legal. So she couldn't exactly get a job. We just had to live in shelters until my mom was able to get her residency and that didn't happen until I was 10. And even though my mom, you know, she still works now, she works every single day of the week, it still can only get us so much. So we still currently live in a room shared with other people. But there are some times where I just can't help but feel empty and wonder why we were never lucky enough to like land our own place. 
when I first came into Girls Inc., I remember the first thing I thought was, what am I doing here? Like, I don't really deserve to be here. All the other girls who are here, they're very excited and they, they want to go to college and they want to do all the things that I didn't necessarily see for myself in the future. And when I got to Girls Inc., the first thing I was told was like, you can do anything here. And that's something that I've carried with me throughout my entire time at Girls Inc. because Anytime I think you're not capable of doing that, I think, well, you were a Girls Inc. mentor, there's nothing you can't do. So for my college, um, my financial situation is pretty good since I did receive a full scholarship from the OTE program at Boston College. When I graduate college, since I plan to major in economics and concentrate in business analysis, I plan to use that to open up my own business. To be strong, smart, and bold is to not let your circumstances define you. Girls Inc. changed my life in, I would say, every aspect there is. Just the fact that I'm here doing this interview shows how much of an impact Girls Inc. has had on me. If it wasn't for Girls Inc., I am confident that I would have dropped out of high school. Joining Girls Inc. not only gave me a responsibility to school, it gave me a responsibility to my girls to educate them on personal finance and mental health issues so that no matter how much success I have, I'm always going to remember the experience I had at Girls Inc. and the impact I was able to have on other girls. No matter how my life is, how I am mentally, I can help other young girls. I'm back now to introduce one of our remarkable honorees this evening, Rosalind Brewer, CEO of Walgreens Boots Alliance Incorporated. Ros has been recognized as one of the most powerful women in business. I'd say she's also one of the most powerful people in business. Ros is currently one of only two black women Fortune 500 CEOs. Throughout her career, Ros has been an unapologetic champion of diversity in the corporate world. Her leadership and achievement at the highest level have opened doors of opportunity for a new generation of leaders. In deciding to make the move to Walgreens Boots from her leadership role at Starbucks and therefore to help change lives and make a profound impact in a new way, Roz has certainly shown us what strong, smart, and bold looks like in action. On behalf of the thousands of girls we work with each year, thank you, Roz, for being a role model, champion, and inspiration to girls and women everywhere. Thank you, Girls Inc., for the recognition as part of your event. And thank you to the Girls Inc. President and CEO, Dr. Stephanie Hull, for the invitation to join you all as part of this uplifting virtual event and film fest. The Girls Inc. mission to inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold is close to my heart. I'm often asked to give advice to girls, and what I tell them most often is to dream big. Many of you watching coming from communities just like where I grew up, this is especially for you. Girls, please dream big. Do not place limits on your dreams or aspirations based on others or society's expectations of you. Be your whole authentic self and bring both your head and your heart to your decisions in your studies, your schoolwork, and your future careers to achieve your dreams. Something else that's really important to us all as girls is to lift each other up. I know one of the themes of this virtual film fest is lifting up voices. As girls, we must lift each other up and support one another. I could not have achieved many of the dreams had it not been for the support of my girls, my sisters, my friends, my Spelman College classmates, my mentors, my trusted colleagues, my daughter now, over the course of my career, I've been the first at many things. I now say I never want to be the first of anything ever again. I take my role very seriously as one of the very few black female CEOs. And I'm humbled to hear that I am leading the way for others. But I do not want to be a first anymore. For all of the black and brown girls watching this event, you girls are the future and you lift me up and you give me hope. Thank you, Girls Inc. Hi everyone, I'm Demi Weitz. I'm last year's Girls Inc. recipient for the Champion for Girls Award. And I'm her proud dad, Richard <laughs> Weitz. And we are so honored and humbled to be here tonight with all of you. Mm -hmm. um, the stories that you guys are seeing are 
exactly what we want to project in the entertainment industry, just highlighting incredible and powerful women. We're so excited and so proud to see these short films. So go get them to all of you girls. We're so inspired by you and so excited to be a part of this tonight. Yeah, and I just want to thank our good friends, Marseille Martin and Tina Fey, who <laughs> were part of our event last June on our Quarantunes and they're here tonight hosting and we are so thrilled that their involvement in Girls Inc. is just meaningful and what an amazing organization. We mm -hmm. are, again, honored to be part of it for the second year in a row. Thank you so much. Have a great show. Thank you. Hi, I'm Busy Phillips. And I'm Renee Lee Scoldsberry. And as cast members from the new Peacock series, Girls 5 Eva, we are so excited to be a part of this incredible event, which celebrates some of Girls Inc.'s shining stars. These young women are leaders in their community today and no doubt are gonna be running the world tomorrow. We had the pleasure of putting together a short film about Iman, a Girls Inc. alumna and current sophomore at Wellesley College. An active member of Girls Inc. since the eighth grade, Iman served on the Teen Advocacy Council and was awarded the Women Who Dare Award. Iman was also selected as one of the delegates for the International Congress of Youth Voices. And today, Iman studies political science and international relations because she is passionate about human rights and she's interested in holding public office one day. Iman understands the power of human connection and how difficult and isolating the COVID pandemic was for certain vulnerable populations. And wow, did she come up with a fantastic solution? We are proud to present the following film to you. Enjoy. That went well. I know. And they thought we couldn't handle this whole <sighs> split screen We're Total thing. pros. Let's high five. <laughs> Nailed it. Strong, smart, and bold. Yeah, Iman definitely completely embodies the spirit of that. One of the things that I just knew from my first year that I really missed from high school was having things that I did outside of class that made me feel like I was making an impact and, and that I was doing something for my community. Our goal is to build intergenerational connections and alleviate social isolation. Like as we started, that was like the big focus. Creating community even virtually is what gave us something to build and focus on. My name is Bob and along with Iman, I founded the Connected Foundation last August. Her drive and passion to, to really impact the lives of people around her are the main traits I was looking for in a co-founder. I really appreciate all the work that she does uh, because, you know, it's like not really an easy task, just like managing, you know, a whole nonprofit organization. Iman is my roommate from freshman year and we're both really good friends still. I remember freshman year when she was talking about Girls Inc. I thought it was incredible. I discovered Girls Inc. in middle school in eighth grade when my geometry teacher at the time reached out and she was like, hey, this is a program that I think you'd be really interested in. It was like a big experience for me, like a big learning opportunity for me. Through Girls Inc. I was also able to get like really cool internships. And I also think that it really built my confidence in myself. It made me feel like I belonged in those spaces. In an all girls environment, you know, you can just be yourself. Someone was like looking out for me. I think that's what Girls Inc. is. So I really wanted to do something that would give back to Boston in some way. Last year over the pandemic, after speaking with my my grandmother actually, who's been in India in her apartment, after hearing her desire and wish to have a program where older adults can still experience social interaction even over the course of the pandemic, I contacted Iman, one of my friends. We started building this as like an actual nonprofit organization. Then we like had to come up with a whole plan and like interview people over winter break. And then now we have a full team filing for nonprofit status and all of that. We pair high school students with senior citizens and they develop these connections where they're able to talk about subjects that interest them. They're able to talk about their own life experiences. And I believe there's nothing more valuable than learning from people older than us and gaining wisdom from that. Now, as we move into in-person interactions, we also are trying to build those intergenerational connections. The foundation has an incredible, I think, message and, and goal because I think a lot of times people living in those communities are 
I don't want to say forgotten, but kind of on the margins of society. Engage in conversations with these with these older people, right? Not just to learn about them, but to keep them engaged and make sure that they understand that they're valued and there's still more to learn. I'd say that the word is lonely. I wasn't doing anything. Keeping myself safe, just missing my friends, missing people, missing seeing people. I found them very helpful and I felt like I was home again. I couldn't do it by myself. And so that's one of the things that I think Girls Inc. has also like taught me to do. I trust people are going to follow through and like work as hard as they can. I think building community is really important and that's what Girls Inc. always did for me. Um, and that's what I really want to do with the Connected Foundation as well. Hi, I'm Maitreyi Ramakrishnan from Never Have I Ever on Netflix. Our next honoree is someone very important to me and one of today's leading women in television, Bella Bajaria. Bella is head of global TV at Netflix, where she oversees scripted and unscripted series around the world. You know how when you log on to Netflix and you see a million things you can watch? Yeah, she's in charge of all of that. In her more than two decade career, Bella has long supported diverse voices and stories. Never Have I Ever, where I play the role of Davy Bishop Kumar, is just one example of that. In fact, it was Bella who brought the Mindy Project to television in 2012, the first major show from a South Asian American female creator. If there was ever an advocate for people telling their own authentic and unique stories, it's Bella Bajaria. In addition to her professional work, Bella is active in the Los Angeles philanthropic community. She serves on the board of the Saban Community Clinic and received their Lenny Somberg Award in 2018. She has also been honored by the I Have a Dream Foundation of Los Angeles, the March of Dimes Foundation, and now Girls Inc. Bella's leadership and success shows girls what's possible when they believe in themselves and dream big. Please welcome a Girls Inc. honoree this evening, Bella Bajaria. Thank you to everyone at Girls Inc. for this honor, but more importantly for the great work you all do for so many girls in this country. I want to take a moment to recognize my fellow inspiring honorees, Dr. Kismikia Corbett, Sherry Schultz, Roz Brewer, and Missy Copeland. Girls Inc. takes care of the whole girl, and that care and attention to all parts of a girl's identity is key to true development and mentorship. Too often, bits and pieces of ourselves fall away when we go out into the larger world and we want to fit in. When I was younger, I thought it was weird to be Indian in America. People at school didn't look like me and I didn't see myself on TV or in movies. So I hid parts of me, important parts of me. I swapped my British accent for an American one by watching TV. Rather than be myself, I walked around sounding like Tabitha from Bewitched. And I know many of you are too young to know that show but it was definitely not my authentic voice. But as I got older, I realized that what I thought were my differences were actually my superpowers. I went from hiding parts of me to honoring all of me. Now I bring my whole self to work. There's a Ganesh statue in my office at Netflix and I wear a beautiful sari, the traditional Indian dress to the Emmy Awards every year, embracing and celebrating the whole me. I am many things, a mom of two daughters and one son, a wife, a boss, an employee, and a daughter myself. And when I'm being one of those things, the others don't stop. This past year, we have seen how our personal and professional lives all intersected. It's no surprise that we saw many women having to leave the workforce. We're often asked to do it all, and many times wearing heels. Well, actually at Netflix, I do everything in my comfy high tops, but if we are going to try to do it all, and that's whatever all means for you, it is a personal definition. We must bring our authentic whole selves to the table. We have greater impact when we are authentic selves. It isn't always easy. Sometimes we'll need to fight negative narratives about ourselves and others but don't give in to them. 
That's why mentorship is important because we can't do it alone. In my own life, I'm fortunate to have a mother who is a mentor and a lifelong teacher to me. And I was also fortunate to work for Nancy Tellum at CBS who taught me a lot. It is thanks to mentors like the ones at Girls Inc that so many girls realize their true potential. Thank you to everyone at Girls Inc for all the work that you do. Thank you for this lovely honor. Dream big and be you and be all of you. Thank you very much. Well, folks, that's our show. One last reminder to make a donation if you haven't already by clicking the donate button or visiting girlsinc.org. We've heard from some incredible names tonight, but I think we can all agree that the real stars are the remarkable young women we've met that exemplify the message and mission of Girls Inc. The barriers girls face, even in the United States, are real and profound. We must inspire all girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Now more than ever, girls need a place where they can gain the knowledge, skills, and support to defy limitations and reach their full potential. And that is what Girls Inc. is all about. What's at stake is our future. Building a truly equitable society means all young people, regardless of their race or ethnicity, income or background, have an equal chance at succeeding. Thank you for participating tonight and for your support of Girls Inc. Together, we make sure that every girl everywhere finds her voice and steps into her power. Thank you and good night. Since I did receive a full scholarship from the OTE program at Boston College. <laughs> you say it so casually. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're getting a, a, a full ride at college. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>